Okay, so I'm gonna try to do the uh, more advanced tutorial about how to place this uh, Zentangle mandala inside the outline of that horse. Uh, so first I need the image of the horse, so I'm gonna go to my browser. And uh, I like this image, I think it'll work fine, so I'm just gonna copy it, and then I'll paste it into Illustrator. So I'll go to Edit, and then Paste. And it's a bit small, so I'll scale it up, and then I'm gonna live trace it. So if you select your image, you should see an option up here called Image Trace. Just select that little drop down, and then click black and white logo. Uh, and it does a pretty good job, but I wanna refine it, so I'm gonna go to the options, and I'll lower the threshold, and I'll raise the paths. There we go, that's a much better job. So I'll minimize that. Uh, and when the live tracing is done, you have to expand it. So as while this is selected, you should see this expand option up here. So I'm just gonna click that once. And now it's been expanded into shapes, but it's still grouped. Uh, so I'm gonna ungroup it uh, as many times until it's all the way done. So I don't see the ungroup option anymore. So it's totally ungrouped. Uh, and I can just select the individual part here, the white part, for example, and I'll just delete that. And if there was any isolated white parts in here, uh, you should delete those as well. So now I'm gonna drag over the horse and uh, I'll place it on top of the mandala. Just make sure it's on, on top and the mandala is behind. And then I'll scale down the horse and kind of line it up. I think that's pretty good. And I'm gonna make a copy of this horse. So I'll go to edit, copy, and then I'll do paste. And I'm just gonna keep an extra copy, a spare copy over here. I'll use that later. But as long as the horse is on top of this uh, mandala, you can select both. And then I'll right click and then do make clipping mask. Uh, and sometimes you'll get a warning. It'll say like, are you sure you wanna do this? It's gonna be complicated. Just say, okay. Uh, it's just if you have a slow computer and you clip a really complicated shape, it, it might freeze your computer. But 99% of the time, just click OK, and it'll work fine. So here we go. The uh, mandala's been clipped. Now we just need to add like a black outline to it. So just select that extra copy of the horse and give it a no fill, uh, and then select the stroke and give it a black stroke. And uh, just line it up on top. You can usually do that by just selecting both of them and then clicking the uh, mandala one, and it'll have like a dark outline then you can just use these alignment controls here and it will align it. But uh, you wanna make sure the outline is on top. It looks like it is. Uh, but if you're ever in doubt, if the outline is behind it, you can just select that outline and go to Object, Arrange, Bring to Front to make sure the outline is in the very, very front. Uh, and that's pretty good. So I'm just gonna group this, just select it, and I'll go to Object and then Group. And then I can minimize this, I mean shrink it a bit fit on the page, that's good. And then you just export this uh, as a JPEG, uh, as a PNG, uh, whatever you need for your project, and then just embed this image uh, into your coloring book PDF. So hopefully that makes sense. Uh, if you want me to go into more detail on a certain part, just let me know uh, and I can, I can make another short video. But uh, thanks for your support and uh, I'll talk to you soon.